Now, again, today we'll be starting uh, 1 Samuel chapter 5, uh, beginning at verse 1. And the Philistines, the Philistines took the ark of God, and they brought it from Ebenezer unto Ashdod. And if we remember from our last recording, uh, that God had already said that he was going to uh, to bring calamity, <laughs> he was going to judge Eli and his sons uh, for what they were doing to his children, right? And and so what happened is the Philistines end up coming out against Israel, and um, they came out as, as far as war goes. They they came out to attack the children of Israel, so they end up fighting on the battleground, and Israel began to lose. They had men dying, and so they went back to go get the ark of the 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 ark of the covenant. They went to go get the ark, and they brought the ark out of Shiloh, uh, and they they thought that the ark representing God's presence. So they brings this ark, and they're thinking that you know they're going to win. They brings this ark to battle, and what happened is not only did they lose, not only was Israel slain. But the ark was taken captive, and it was it, it was taken as a spoil. The Philistines took it back to their territories. Amen. Uh, so that's what's going on here. So again, chapter five of of First uh, Samuel, verse one: The Philistines took the ark of God, and they brought it from Ebenezer unto Ashdod. And when the Philistines took the ark of God, they brought it into the house of Dagon, and they set it by Dagon. Now Dagon was their this this idol that they had it was their false god it was an idol so they had a place set up for their false god their false idol and they brings the ark of the, the ark of god and set it right in there uh next to next to their idol dagon and when they verse three when they of ashdod arose early on the morrow Behold, Dagon was fallen upon the face to the earth before the ark of the Lord. And they took Dagon and they set him in his place again. So the next day when the when the children of the, the Philistines, when they woke up and, and they go into the into this somewhat makeshift temple that they set up for Dagon, uh, they seen that their idol is laying face down on the floor uh, in fr uh, and, and it's in front of the ark of God. And and it's kind of postured as though that it was worshiping. Uh, the, the, the that's really what it comes down to. Amen. <laughs> so this is, God is mighty. Verse four. And when they arose early in the morrow, behold, Dagon was falling upon his face to the ground. Right. Uh, uh, Dagon was falling. I'm sorry. They placed it in his place again. So verse four. When they arose early on the on the morrow morning. Behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the ground before the ark of the Lord, and the head of Dagon and both the palms of his hands were cut off upon the threshold. Only the stump of Dagon was left to him. So, so when the, the first time they found him, they found him, they found their idol prostrate before the before the ark of God, and so they set him back up. The next morning they come in there. This time they find his palms cut off and his head cut off. <laughs> and he's still laying. And then what's left of him is laying prostrate, right? And so it's just they say only the stump of him uh, remains. Uh, neither the priest of Dagon nor any that come into Dagon's house tread on the threshold of Dagon and Ashdod this day. So they didn't want to come back up in there. When they seen what happened to their idol, they didn't want to come back up in there. And it was at that time that they knew that their idol was subject to a real God. Amen. They knew at the end of the day that if they thought that their idol was any kind of God, then they had an opportunity to see who was the more powerful, who's the only wise, true God. Amen. So when they begin to fear the Lord our God, they begin to fear him so they wouldn't come back up in there. That's like, Oh no, that's <laughs> we can't go up in there like that, right? So verse six, but the hand of the Lord was heavy upon them of Ashdod, and he destroyed them, and he smote them with rods, even Ashdod and the coast thereof. So because they took the ark of God and brought it into their territories, 
God began to kill them from the inside. <laughs> Amen. He began to attack them from the inside. He began to attack them with plagues. And then those that didn't die, they suffered from having tumors. Emrods are some form of tumors. So if they didn't die from plagues, they died from the tumors themselves, right? And and God, to, it's, the scriptures are saying that God took care of all the coast of of uh, uh, of the Philistines, and one of the things that we didn't cover yet, and we're going to cover here, there is five principal cities here, and right now the Ark of Covenant is in, at the time of our reading, the the Ark of Covenant, at the time this was written, I should say, the Ark of Covenant was in uh, uh, Ashdod. So there's five major cities here. There's Ashdod, Gath, Ekron, Ascalon, and then Gaza. So God is attacking their coast from the inside. Amen. Uh, verse 7. And when the men of Ashdod saw that it was so, they said that the ark of God of Israel should not abide with us, for his hand is sore upon us and upon Dagon, our God. So they knew, and it kind of reminds me in, in Revelation um, when the children, when, when when men knew that when judgment started to go forth throughout the earth from God, men was not delusional. They knew exactly who was the cause of the judgment that was happening upon men. They said, "Save us." As a matter of fact, let me let me go there real quick. Hold your places there, and let me see if I can find this the scripture here in Revelation. Give me just a moment. Okay, go with me real quick to Revelation chapter 6, verse 15. Chapter 6, verse 15. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman, every freeman hid, him, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and to the rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, from him, uh, from the wrath of the Lamb. So they knew when judgment goes forth on the earth, men are not stupid. They know exactly what's happening upon the earth and who's coming out against them. They knew. Well, this is the same thing that's going on back over here in, in, in 1 Samuel. The people are not ignorant. <laughs> the men of the, the, the Philistines, they know exactly who it is that's attacking them and attacking their God. Amen. They are not stupid. They it ain't no coincidence, right? So there's like we gotta we gotta get that ark out of here. If if we plan on on surviving this, it's going to have to leave from our city, right? So that was verse seven. Verse 8, so they sent therefore and they gathered all the lords of Philistines unto them and said, what shall we do with the ark of the God of Israel? And they answered, let the ark of God of Israel be carried about unto Gath. And they carried the ark of God of Israel about thither. And it was so that after they had carried it about, the hand of the Lord was against the city with a very great destruction. And he smote the men of the city, both small and great, and they had emrods in their secret parts. So, <laughs> so they was like, I don't know, when it was in Ash, when it was in Ashdod, the councils get together. And they say, we don't know where it's going to be, but it can't stay here. We need to get it out of here, right? It's killing us, and it's inflicting us with tumors, right? So they sent it to Gath, and the same thing happened over there to Gath. Uh, God begins to attack them from the inside, begins to wear them out, begins to kill them. And then if he didn't kill them, he discomforted them by giving them tumors boils or tumors, if not both, down in their in their private parts, if you will, right in their genital area, right? He began to attack them down there. <laughs> These cats was messed up. Oh my goodness. So verse 10. Therefore they sent the ark of God to Ekron, 
And it came to pass as the ark of God came to Ekron that the Ekronites cried out saying, oh, they cried out saying, they have brought the ark of God of Israel to us to slay us and our people because word traveled fast. These cats, it was in Ashdod. They, got, they were killed in Ashdod. Then it went to Gath. They was killed in Gath. And now these people hurry up and got it out of Gath and takes it over here to Ekron. And Ekron already heard what happened in Ashdod and in Gath. And they was like, they brought it out here to kill us. <laughs> right? So this is this boy God is, he know what he doing. So verse 11. So they, This snippet has been brought to you by United Body of Christ Church. For more Bible studies and lessons, please visit our website at www.ubcchurch.org.